welcome back to another video. Today on this channel, I am sharing with you some of my favorite staple breakfast meals. I'm very excited about this because I know lots of you have trouble with breakfast, right? You don't quite know what to make, especially if you're kind of more of a savory breakfast person. So I got gotcha. you. I also want to say hi to those of you who are new here. My name is Tia and here on this channel, I love to share with you how you can live and thrive eating a whole food plant-based diet really easy. It does not have to be complicated. I thought it did. Um, I was so overwhelmed for so long. And then once I realized it could be really easy and I started putting certain systems in place, it was like, a whole new world, right? And so that's what I wanna share with you here on this channel is how you can do this really easy like me. So if that sounds good to you, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick around. Now, before we get into these breakfast meals, I do have to make an announcement to y'all really quick, especially those of you who don't follow me over on Instagram because you don't know. But this week, I released my first ever online course in 28-day meal plan. You guys, this thing is awesome. I'm already getting great feedback. I created this for those of you who are new, who are new to a whole food plant-based diet. Um, maybe you want to transition over to one. And for those of you who have tried to eat this way and keep falling off the wagon, right? Something's missing. And so I am sharing with you the things that um, I do to keep this way of life really easy for me. I mean, I'm going into detail with them. And yeah, my hopes is that you can live um, this way easy just like me, right? It's been four and a half years and it is, it is just as simple for me as it was on day one when I realized all this stuff. So not only do you get a 28 day meal plan with this, you get 30 days of coaching advice for me, personal coaching advice you can reach out. So to me, that's that's worth the money in itself. Um, I'm really excited to be offering this to you guys. So I went ahead and put a link down there so y'all can check it out. Now I do wanna say this, if you purchased my first book, Simple Vegan Mama, um, close to four years ago. That was also a 28-day meal plan. This is like an upgraded version of it, but the meal plan is all brand new, right? So that's awesome, number one. And number two, there's the 30 days of coaching where you can reach out to me and ask advice, get motivation, tips and tricks, anything you need. So that in itself is worth it. Even if you already have Simple Vegan Mama and you're still struggling, I highly recommend um, this course. So yeah, but on to the real reason you're here, right? For these breakfast ideas. Now, um, overnight oats, which is what this is right here. This is a staple in my house. I always have overnight oats on hand. Now I tend to like savory dishes for breakfast, but sometimes I want sweet like today. And I most certainly like sweet at lunchtime and these hit the spot too. I know this isn't a lunch, uh, video, it's breakfast, but I just thought I'd mention that. So that's why I always have these in my refrigerator because sometimes I want them for breakfast, sometimes I want them for lunch. Uh, but I'm prepared. And the way I make these, this is just three fourths of a cup of overnight oats. Now you put the amounts that you want in there. I have found through trial and error that one cup is a little bit too much for me. I never quite finish. Half a cup, not enough. Three fourths of a cup of rolled oats is perfect for me. So three fourths of a cup of um, rolled oats, two tablespoons of chia seeds. I love chia seeds in my overnight oats. One tablespoon of maple syrup, um, unsweet vanilla almond milk. Now I just pour it until it fills up all the stuff in here. And then um, a whole bunch of frozen cherries. You make this like you want. That's what's so great about these is you can just kind of throw anything in there. Sometimes I put one tablespoon of unsweet cocoa powder in here to make like chocolate cherry overnight oats. So freaking good. But today I didn't really want that. So yeah, that's what this is, a staple. Staple, always in my house. I always have rolled oats. I always have frozen fruit, always have chia seeds. You get where I'm going? That way I can always make these if I need to. So, okay, let's move on to the second breakfast item. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of veggie broth into my pan and then I'm just gonna crumble up a whole block of tofu. Now I did press this pretty well to get the liquid that the tofu absorbed um, to get that liquid out of it. 
And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just crumble up the whole thing. And then I put a little, like maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic. You can use garlic powder if you want. And then I'm just gonna grab some of my seasonings. I grabbed smoked paprika, red pepper flakes, cause I love that, some um, onion powder and some turmeric. And I'm just gonna stir it around. <laughs> Now, as far as the measurements go, like how much of each I'm using, I really just kind of throw in what I think works best and taste it, and if I feel like I need to add more, I do. But for this video, I'll go ahead and estimate about how much I use, and it'll be in the description for you guys as well. I also added a little bit of low sodium soy sauce, I'm then gonna be adding lots of tomatoes to this because I just love tomatoes in here. You can add any veggies you want, mushrooms, spinach, you know, the sky's the limit. I I've had this with zucchini in there, um, mushrooms, all kinds of stuff, and it's delicious either way. But today I just went ahead and did some tomatoes. And then I'm heating up some tortillas. You don't have to eat tortillas, but I like to eat tortillas with it. So I'm heating up some corn tortillas. And then on the side, I'm gonna have um, a big thing of fruit. I'm not a huge fan of veggies in the morning. You know, no, I do like veggies in my tofu scramble, but to eat like a side of broccoli for breakfast just doesn't sound good to me. So I'm having a big, big side of frozen fruit that I'm defrosting on the side and there you go. I love this breakfast. Now for the second one, I am showing you guys this reel I created and shared over on Instagram. It's oat banana walnut pancakes. I know this is going kind of quick. I have the full recipe in the description. These are so good, I eat them all the time. So you're gonna wanna check it out. Next, we're gonna be making just this potato hash that I really have been eating, I will say for breakfast, it's a favorite breakfast meal of mine, but lately I feel like I've been having it for dinner. It's just so filling and it hits the spot for me. And I do also you know, eat this a lot in the mornings when I'm feeling like eating something a bit savory. I used to do like shredded hash browns, but I've been doing this lately. And so I'm just taking um, some peppers, zucchini, mushrooms and onion. I'm cutting those up. Now, if you want this to go a little bit quicker, you can buy this already chopped up at the store. I'm not sure you can find chopped up zucchini, but something makes me think it's out there. Um, I went ahead and popped the potatoes in the microwave for five minutes. Now, I already, I, I pre-chopped them and then put, put them in the microwave. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it goes a little quicker. And then I'm just sauteing these veggies until they are soft. And once they, you know, the onions are clear looking and the veggies seem soft, I'm gonna go ahead and add the potatoes in there and then we're gonna add our spices. I'm doing a little bit of low sodium soy sauce, some garlic powder, a little bit of smoked paprika. If you haven't noticed, I love smoked smoke paprika and low sodium soy sauce together. I went ahead and added some cumin and just stirring it up and that's it. Add a little avocado on top. Now this was for my husband and he wanted some Cholula on there, which sounds amazing. So I added that for him. And then last but not least, we have this delicious oatmeal bake that's gonna make your mornings go so quick and easy. Make sure you check out this recipe in the description. Okay, that is it for me today. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it. Again, make sure you check out my new online beginner's course and 28 day meal plan, plant-based like a pro. Try to say that fast about 20 times, um, even five times. Plant-based like a pro, it's down in the description. Just click on the link, you can get more information. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys next week. Um, Y'all have a good day, bye.